अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कन्वर्जन ऑफ पैसिव वॉइस इनटू एक्टिव वॉइस विद सिंपल पास टेंस सो वी ऑल नो दैट पैसिव वॉइस रूल इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस वॉज और वर्ड Here we are making use of was and were because we are referring to past tense. Whereas in few in present tense we made use of is, am, or are. But today, since we are discussing about past tense and that too simple past tense, it will be was or were. Plus the verb in third form. Plus by and followed by object. So subject plus was or were plus verb in third form plus by plus the object. This is the rule for passive. And the rule for active voice in past form is. subject plus verb in second form now here we are making use of verb in second form because we are referring to past tense so for past tense the verb will be in second form <coughs> for present tense the verb will be in first form so subject plus verb in second form plus the object so supposedly i say sita danced on the stage sita danced on the stage refers to the active form of a sentence why because this rule matches the rule of active sentence so sita will become the subject danced is a verb in second form and stage is my object right another example can be ram ate mangoes now ram ate mangoes ram is my subject verb in second form is ate and object is mangoes right now subject now if i want to convert passive sentence into active form i will say here i am referring to this passive to active i say Taj Mahal was built by Shah Jahan. Now Taj Mahal over here is my subject. Out of was or were, I am making use of was because Taj Mahal is singular. There is only one Taj Mahal in the world, right? So Taj Mahal is singular, and for singular, we will be making use of was and not were. Built is my verb in third form. By is as per the rule, and Shah Jahan over here is my object. And we all know that for conversion of passive voice to active voice, my subject. becomes the object for active and object of passive becomes the subject for active so here my sentence if i want to convert this sentence into active form my subject will be shah jahan so i will say shah jahan built in second form will still remain built so shah jahan built and now since my verb in second form is complete i just have to find my object 
and my object in active voice will be the subject of passive. So subject of passive over here is Taj Mahal. So Shah Jahan built Taj Mahal. And here my sentence which was in passive form and in simple past tense is now converted to my sentence of active form. But it, the tense will not change. Tense is still the same. This is also an example of simple past tense. This is also an example of simple past tense. Now another example for conversion of passive voice in simple past tense to the active voice can be the second example can be the story was written by him. Now the story was written by him. Here the story is my subject. Was written is the verb in third form. And by him is my object. Now to convert into passive uh, form, I will write my object as a subject. So him will convert to he. Right? He and we know that in simple past form, the form of verb which is used is the second form. So he wrote and the subject of passive will turn to the object. So the story will be my object over here. So the subject for active becomes the object for passive and vice versa. And the object for active becomes the subject for passive and vice versa. So in this video we studied about the conversion of passive voice to active voice with simple past tense. And then we also discussed the usage of was and were where was is used for singular noun or pronoun and word is used for plural. Verb is also used for second person like you. So whenever we are using you, we will say you were, right? And then we also attempted some of the sentences where we made use of was and were to understand the concept better.